Hi, I'm Mary Beth Mills, Development Coordinator for Restoration Housing. In this installment of our Architectural Minute series, we're exploring how the inclusion of middle housing benefits our community and the families who call it home. In this segment, we'll discuss the creation of missing middle housing through historic preservation and new infill construction. As we discussed in our last Architectural Minute, the missing middle of housing is a spectrum of dwelling types that range in size from duplexes to small apartment buildings and have the potential to serve many different demographics and family sizes, but that for decades have been excluded from single-family neighborhoods by local codes. Hallmark traits of the missing middle include walkability, easy access to public transportation, local retail, and buildings compatible in scale and form. Restoration Housing's second project, located at 1018 Patterson Avenue, is a clear example of middle housing ideals, discreetly providing multiple units with high-quality finishes at affordable rents in a walkable downtown neighborhood. And Restoration Housing isn't alone in providing middle housing on Patterson Avenue. In the surrounding neighborhood, there are several examples of new construction subtly integrated among the centenarian Victorian homes. To the right and left of 1018 Patterson are four duplexes built by the Roanoke Redevelopment and Housing Authority. Because these were built in a design overlay district, they were required to mirror the scale, fenestration, and detail of their historic single-family neighbors, creating a cohesive streetscape. Also to the right of our project are two houses built by Habitat for Humanity. These are likewise quite affordable, but are single-family homes occupied by their owners. These structures also incorporate the design overlay district guidelines, allowing them to seamlessly blend into the surrounding neighborhood. And even further down the street are several small businesses, nonprofits, and single family homes. This street incorporates a variety of uses, building forms, and densities, but it has the appeal of a walkable, low rise, family friendly neighborhood, a great example of the missing middle in both new infill construction and preservation. The emergence of this critical form of housing by nonprofit developers was made possible in large part by flexible mixed density zoning regulations combined with the visual consistency of a design overlay district. In the urban planning world, we've relearned that diverse yet compatible uses can and should coexist as they did before use-based zoning codes. 1018 Patterson Avenue was designed as a duplex in 1915, serving a critical housing need for over 100 years and providing a template for flexibility of use within the parameters of good design that defines the middle housing movement today. Music